We are living in a quantum world, and quantum has become more important than any time before in human history. Many modern technologies are based on quantum phenomena. You may not realize the power of quantum science when you are using your computer equipped with semiconductor technology, your AMOLED touch screen, your laser pointer, or when you take an MRI scan. But it is there; it is in everybody's life. Understanding the quantum world is, however, not an easy task. Not to mention trying to make use of it. In the past, only professionals, after years of training, could do it. Now the time has come to reveal the mystery and make it accessible to more people, to everyone. You may ask, who will be interested? Well, it would be a nice hands-on experience for students when they learn, for example, what is a semiconductor, and it would also be interesting for anyone without deep background to see how atoms arrange in a crystal, how molecules vibrate at finite temperature, or how to predict whether a material is metal. We want to reach out to general people, but what gives us confidence to be so ambitious? First, there are many reliable computer programs called quantum chemistry software nowadays, designed for precise prediction of material properties from basic quantum mechanics. And among those, there are quite a few that are free, open source, yet powerful and continuously updated. Simulating a quantum system becomes therefore similar as playing a computer game. You don't need to know the underlying mechanism, but you can input and get valuable output from it. Another enabling technology is that the computer industry has evolved so quickly that your personal laptop now is probably more powerful than a supercomputer a few years back, so that your computer has enough computation power to perform quite a lot of amazing tasks. Sounds all exciting until now, right? The problem is, quantum chemistry software mostly bases on Linux, and for installation, you need to learn how to compile the source code, which can be problematic even for experts. In addition, quantum chemistry software is mostly used via command line. I'm not saying that the command line is a bad approach. I myself made many tutorial videos of quantum chemistry software exactly on Linux using command line, but I do remember many difficulties when I first started. These potential difficulties present themselves as a huge barrier for people that just want to try. So, what is the solution? We believe that the graphical user interface is one. Because the installation is easy, the user will be guided through the process of the simulation, and in situ visualization can facilitate the workflow. There are already a few graphical user interfaces for different quantum chemistry software. The commercial ones are, first of all, out of budget for ordinary people, and secondly, too powerful and professional, making them not accessible to general people. The existing free ones. On the other hand, have flaws on many aspects, including no continuous update and lacking many functions compared to the command line version. For Quantum Espresso, the two free graphical user interfaces are PWGUI and Burai, with PWGUI mostly designed to be used in Linux, and Burai offering unlimited calculation possibilities. With this, I would like to announce my programming project of writing a new graphical user interface for Quantum Espresso. To hopefully address the above issues and lower the barrier for everyone to enter the world of quantum. If you are wondering what Quantum Espresso is capable of doing, please check my other videos, which include a wide range of calculations. Now I would like to make all of that easily available to you. The user interface that I'm writing will be free and open source, designed to mainly run on Windows, but may also run on Linux and Mac. I plan to integrate as many functions in Quantum Espresso as possible. Integrate example libraries and utilities such as K-point path in a useful way, and offer context helps according to my own experience. Just as a side note, this is not supposed to be continuing from Burai or others, but I do appreciate the inspiration from previous projects. I have already started working on this for half a month, and I am gradually enriching the features of the program. I will make follow-up videos to keep you guys updated about the development process. And if you have some great idea what functions you want to have in the program, please comment below. As usual, your like and subscribe are the best motivation for me. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.